Dragon Ball Super, episode 39, review. Now with Dragon Ball Super, it's normally hit or miss with me. It's normally either really good, or really bad, or mediocre. There are a couple mediocre, like episode 22. I, I, I don't normally remember the number of the episode. That's episode 22 is so bad, I actually remember the episode number and the events that can, are happened in it. Now the Ginyu episode, but this episode was amazing. Great. Uh, one of the best episodes of the series. There isn't really much for me to say about it, besides for it was amazing. Now, one downside to this episode is the Kai footage, and I'm about to talk about it. The fact that I knew the Kai footage for a flashback is a complete load of garbage. But let's all be honest, who cares about whether the flashback looks good or not? So they could easily hire the cheapest animator they can find and have him reanimate that in at least HD quality animation. Or like 720p. It would not be hard. But no, this is Toei. And they need to ruin... They need, they need to make at least one bad thing about every episode. But the reason I talked about the bad first is because there's so many good things to talk about. So hit is like Saiyan in the way that he can get stronger as he fights. The difference is he doesn't get stronger from the damage he takes and from the battles he takes part in. He literally gets stronger from improving. So if he improves during the fight, he gets stronger. So pretty much what the Saiyan do, and you get stronger for just for doing that. So he, so in the span of his fight with Goku, by the end of it, he is able to skip forward 5, 0.5 seconds in time, which is mind blowing. Now, a lot of this episode is just Goku and his fighting. I'm not going to describe the fight because there's no point in doing that. But the, the choreography is great. The art is great. The animation is great. No one can complain about the animation in this episode. There was one thing with Hit that I feel like it was a little meh. Like, it wasn't even bad. There was like one thing with Hit and like one thing with Goku where hit, it wasn't even bad art. It was just the way it was drawn seemed a little off model. And it just looked kind of funny to me. But that may just be me. But besides for that, the episode was perfect. Now, of course, I do need to talk about the Kaioken. So Goku is able to use the Kaioken in a Super Saiyan Blue form. Now, this is, in my opinion, somewhat problematic because he does the Kaioken times 10 in Super Saiyan Blue. Yeah, just so it's Super Saiyan Blue being increased with a Kaioken times 10, which is ridiculous. But I just want to say, it, the way it's drawn is amazing. Now, there is a, uh, like a the way they animate his, him fighting with a hit, when hit music is time leap, his hair does look kind of grayish, whitish, but that is just the way they're animating the scene. It looks cooler, so that's how they're doing it. There is no special reasoning behind it. I just really wanted to make sure that was clear. Now, so don't go around saying that like, you know, like it's super sighing white. No, that was just one interview, it's not confirmed, nothing is confirmed. But what I do want to talk about is, of course, just how much nostalgia this episode had and how great it was. So, but Kaioken and Super Saiyan Blue, I loved it. It looked great. I do feel the process of Goku powering up was a bit dragged out, but you know, that's just my opinion. But speaking of powering up, the amount of jokes, they they kind of took the jokes people make about the series and had other characters make them. Like one of the Kai from Universe 6, uh, I think it was from Universe 6, but one of the Kai's, I know that, said Hick gets stronger because he screams. That's an odd ability. It was really good. It was just really good and it was just, I found that very entertaining. But that was just me. I felt like a lot of the things they were talking about were just like, you could tell they were like meant to be like jabs at the people who say all they do is scream in this theory. And it was really interesting to see. Yeah, so I thought this was a really good episode. I'm sorry if I missed a couple things. I actually just got out of the hospital today, so I probably did miss one or two things. And I'm sorry about that. If I did, 
feel free to tell me in the comment section down below, and I will m mention it in my next uh, review. But guys, I hope you enjoyed the video. Please like, comment, and subscribe for more videos. And if I had to rate the episode, I would give it a 9.5, uh, no, a 9.8 out of 10. Yeah, so a 9.8 out of 10. So above all else, guys, have a great day.